Welcome on back to Skipper Today. I have four must-add players for your fantasy baseball teams in week 21. First player this week is Lars Nupar of the Cardinals. He is 40% rostered this season. He's hitting 246 with eight home runs, 28 runs batted in, and three stolen bases. There's only two players in all of Major League Baseball who have a walk rate of over 15% and a weighted runs created plus of 130 or better, and they are Juan Soto and Lars Nupar. Um, Nubar is a perfect guy to pick up if you're in OBP leagues. His 361 OBP and f obviously over 15% walk rate are great. And arguably, he could be the third best hitter in the Cardinals lineup right now. He is absolutely crushing fastball. So we're doing a 327 average and a 421 expected WOBA. Um, and it's a pitch he sees more than 30% of the time. In his last 36 games, he's hitting 311, six home runs, and OPS over 1,000 with 25 walks and only 20 strikeouts. Right now, uh, Nupar is hitting leadoff, at least against right-handers, and he can be a super valuable asset for you down the stretch here as a guy um, who just kind of broke out this season. So I think he can pretty much help you whatever, especially OBP leagues. I'm guessing he's be much higher rostered, but Lars Nupar is a guy that you need to be picking up. Second player this week is going to be Matt Manning of the Tigers. He is only 19% rostered this season. One and one, two, three, seven ERA, 31 strikeouts, and a 111 whip. So Matt Manning just made his 25th career start. He averaged six swings and misses per game in his first 21 outings. But if we look over his last four starts, these are the whiffs he's gotten. 13, 17, 12, and 16. Matt Manning was a five-time top 100 prospect who was called up last year when he had an 8.07 ERA in AAA. So he obviously didn't pitch well in the majors when that happened. Um, and then we get back. The stock is way down on Matt Manning. We're like, this guy fucking blows, but he doesn't. Matt Manning's a very good pitcher for a reason, um, and the upside is starting to show thanks to a revamped slider that after he was injured, he worked on. And 12 of his 16 whiffs on his great start on Wednesday against the Giants came on this slider. It has the 13th best swing strike rate, 10th best expected average against, and the best called strike and whiff rate of all sliders in baseball. His called strike and whiff rate overall is 32nd best amongst pitchers. Um, his hard contact percentage, expected ERA, and expected WOBA are all better than 14th best, so lower than that. And we have a nice little breakout for Matt Manning as a guy who's a very talented arm. So it's good for you as the fantasy manager to see him break out. This might um, like skyrocket his ADP for next year, but it's really nice to see Matt Manning pitching well again, and you might as well pick him up on your fantasy baseball teams. Third guy this week is a guy I believe I talked about kind of recently, but I just think he's criminally underrated in the fantasy game. And that's going to be Oscar Gonzalez of the Guardians. He's 8% rostered, 305 average, five home runs, 23 runs batted in, one stolen base, and an 812 OPS. So what did the Guardians do? They DFA'd Fran Mil Reyes, which was kind of a question mark. Maybe not with the season he's had, but how he has been overall. And they sent down Nolan Jones when Oscar came back from an injury. So they're going to... Um, be ready to give him very important at bats for the rest of the season. He's hit fourth or sixth every game the past two weeks, and we're starting to see a little power surge that led to him hitting 31 homers in 121 minor league games last year. He has an absolutely horrible walk rate at 3.4%, so it could limit him in some points leagues, obviously, but everywhere else he should be rushed, especially five outfielder leagues. It's a no-brainer. This 8% is... It should be at least doubled, maybe up to 20%. 91st percentile exit velocity, 90th percentile sprint speed. Again, what do I say when we have upside off guys off the wire? Speed and power, if they have it together, we are absolutely laughing. He has a 514 slug against fastballs, which he gets 50% of the time. So Oscar Gonzalez just sits up there, sits fastballs, and just absolutely launches them. Um, I think it's a really good guy to pick up. Obviously, if I'm talking about him twice again, it's like, hey, you need to take a look at this guy um, if you skipped over him last time because you didn't think the upside was there. I think he's starting to show this little power surge, and we could see a couple more home runs from Oscar Gonzalez and some pretty important at-bats for the Guardians down the stretch. The fourth player this week is going to be my stash of the week, a must-add stash, I guess you could say, but Gunnar Henderson of the Orioles, he's 11% rostered, which is more than Oscar Gonzalez, and he doesn't even play in the major leagues, so that's – sorry, the Oscar Gonzalez things just got me flustered still. September call-ups are almost here. And obviously, there's some good pieces that can be added to major league rosters with the expansion. Um, and I think Gunnar Henderson is going to be one of them. So in the minors this season, 294 average, 19 home runs, 75 runs batted in, and 19 stolen bases. The Orioles GM said um, a call-up for Henderson is definitely on the table. Baseball America has him as their highest-rated prospect in all of baseball. And those 19 home runs and a 958 OPS – power and speed combo is there for Gunnar Henderson. Um, so it would be a great fit for fantasy teams, and he'd be an 
really fun player to watch for the Orioles as they try to make a push towards the playoffs. So for right now, I am stashing Gunnar Henderson. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know who you guys are going to be adding this week. Don't forget to join the Discord. Keep subscribing, and I will see you guys next week.